we're asked to solve the quadratic equation by completing the square. Notice here we're not able to factor because there are no factors of positive 40 that add to positive 8. Look at the notes on the right. The first step is to write the quadratic equation in the form shown here, which means we subtract 40 on both sides and then leave room for the constant we'll add to both sides of the equation. Subtracting 40 on both sides, let's write the equation as x squared plus 8x plus a constant we'll find in a minute equals on the right negative 40 plus the same constant we will add to the left. Next, notice the coefficient of x squared is one. We call this coefficient a. If a is not equal to one, we would have to divide both sides of the equation by a. But since it is one, we move to step three, and now we add the same constant to both sides of the equation to make the left side a perfect square trinomial. Looking at our notes, we need to add the square of b divided by two, or the square of half of b to both sides of the equation, where b is the coefficient of x. In this case, notice b is equal to eight, and the square of eight divided by two is equal to the square of four, which is equal to 16. We add 16 to both sides of the equation. And now the left side of the equation is a perfect square trinomial. Let's go ahead and factor. Let's first factor it into two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of positive 16 that add to positive eight are four and four, giving us two factors of x plus four. And on the right we have a negative 24. Let's write the left as the square of x plus four equals a negative 24. And now to solve for x, we'll undo the squaring on the left by taking the square root of both sides of the equation. We also need to include a plus or minus on the right. Notice on the right we have plus or minus e squared of negative 24. This is going to be an imaginary number because the radicand is negative. Remember, the square of negative one is equal to i. Simplifying on the left, the square root undoes the squaring, giving us one factor of x plus four equals on the right, Let's write the right side as plus or minus the square root of 24 times negative one. And now to help us simplify, let's look at the prime factorization of 24. 24 is equal to eight times three. Eight is equal to three factors of two. This gives us x plus four equals plus or minus the square root of two times two times two times three. And because we also have a factor of negative one, Let's write that as times the square root of negative one. And now looking at the square root of 24, we can see four is a perfect square factor of 24, indicating the square root of 24 simplifies to two square root six. We now have x plus four equals plus or minus two square root six i. Again, remember the square root of negative one is equal to i. And for the last step to solve for x, we subtract four on both sides which gives us x equals negative four plus or minus two square root six i. We have two complex solutions here. We have x equals negative four plus two square root six i, or we have x equals negative four minus two square root six i. I hope you found this helpful.